At the age of 18, many begin on a unique journey choosing to serve in the military. From basic training to the front lines, these young men and women forge bonds that last a lifetime. Serving at such a tender age, they become the guardians of freedom, facing challenges that test not only physical strength, but also their resilience and character. This is the story of John Bateman, who, at 18, chose to defend and uphold the values that define a nation. From playing army at a young age to seeing family members serve, John had always dreamed of serving. Growing up surrounded by active military service members, the desire to follow in their footsteps had always been a powerful source in his life. The idea of contributing to something greater than himself, rooted in a tradition of sacrifice, had shaped his aspirations and instilled a profound respect for the values upheld by those who served in the armed forces. The year 2000, John had made that decision and began basic training and schooling in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. His first duty was stationed in Fort Carson, Colorado as an... Uh, it was an MOS, which is your military occupational skill. Uh, mine was 13 Bravo, which is a cannon crew member, also known as artillery. Um, so that was my job there. I short artillery. I was in a heavy unit, which was mechanized. Um, once I got out, I was a platoon sergeant in an artillery battery. After serving in Colorado, John was deployed to Germany. During his time in Germany, he spent a month in Moscow, Russia, with the Russian government. John stated that he... I've been all across the country, um, served in multiple states. I was in Germany for a couple years and uh, deployed to Iraq three times. After being in Iraq, he was then stationed at Fort Dix, New Jersey. Just after spending a year there, John had exited the military in 2010. May 3, 2019, John was inducted into the Ohio Military Hall of Fame for having received a Valor Award during his service in the U.S. Army. Today, John works for the state of Ohio as an account executive. While appreciating newfound freedoms, there is a longing for the unmistakable sense of duty and belonging that defined military life. After not being in the military for 14 years, he says he misses... This camaraderie, the... Uh... The groups of people that you meet, um, you know, everybody's there doing the same thing as you're doing. Um, you make friends easily. There's friends that I know that I've had in the military that I could meet 15 years later and we pick up like it's we just left yesterday. Um, I missed the traveling. There was a lot of traveling. I got to see a lot of things that if I wasn't in the military, I'd have never got to see. Um, as far as like the West Coast, the East Coast, other countries, um, different cultures, uh, stuff like that. These memories will last with him forever as he continues to move on in his career. In 2022, there was 461,657 active members in the Army according to Fiscal Overview. 50% of youth admit to knowing little to nothing about the service. When contemplating joining the military... Um, do your research. Make sure that you want to do what you want to do. Um, don't just go in there blind. Do your research on the different branches, what they have to offer. Um, do something that you can use when you get out of the military as far as uh, skills to transfer over to um, an occupation that's outside the military in the civilian world. Education is vital. Ensure you comprehend the specific requirements and benefits associated with military service. Being a veteran is a lifelong identity that influences one's character and outlook. It involves their connection to a broader community and responsibility to carry the values learned and service into everyday life. John states feeling a sense of pride of saying that he served. He's someone who volunteered to protect the United States from all enemies, foreign and domestic and to honor the ones who have served before him and those who never made it back. Acknowledge that only 1% of the country serves as a veteran population is declining. The men and women who serve in the U.S. military are doing it for not just them, but for the whole country, uh, to, just to make sure that your guys are safe at night, and we, that's why we do it. So please thank a vet.